This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. These examples, three of them we've got now, are going to help us to solidify those rules because practicing the rules makes it very much easier to understand. So we're going to start with Andrew in example number two, who started to trade on the 1st of January 2022. And he makes up his first set of accounts to the 30th of June 2022. So what is that? That is a sh short set of accounts. Okay. So I would suggest at this point that you find those rules again so that we can follow through with them. So you can flow down the chart um, to see where we're going with these rules and applying them to uh, Andrew's example. So trade profits. Those first six months he made profits of 30,000. Then in the following accounting year, if we get those are accounting years, 70,000. And then the accounting year to the 30th of June, he made 82,000 profits. So two parts to this question. What are the assessments for the relevant tax years and how much overlap relief is available? Now, this could be a multiple choice question in section A. It could be part of a bigger question and it could be part of a much bigger question in section C. So um, these this will be tested. Uh, this this re These rules will be tested. So it is important that you uh, completely understand them. So let's look at the example of Andrew and I'm going to set the answer out in a very specific format. Um, the reason is this is how the examiner's model answer will look and therefore you want your answer to look as close to the model answer that, as the examiner um, has in front of him um, so that he can follow your workings and your thought process. So the tax year, basis of assessment, These are your headings, workings, and obviously what will be assessed in the end column. That's your answer column. Now, in as with all of these tax exams, you get marks for showing the process. So everything that you put through your calculator needs to be on your answer page. There are rarely marks for the answers. The marks come from the process. Do you know the rule? So write the rule down. Have you applied the rule to the question? Can you do the workings and show all the process that you've done? The answer is at the end. Now, yes, the answer is very important, but that's not what you're going to get marks for. And the idea of this is to get as many marks as possible. So Andrew started to trade on the 1st of January 2022 and that falls into the tax year 21-22. Now the rule for year one is an actual basis. What actually happened between the date of commencement and the next 5th of April. Okay, now that is three months, January, February, March. Now I know it says there the 5th of April, but remember the 31st of March and the 5th of April are coterminous. You don't need to worry about those six days. So January, February, March, three months. Now the profits that we are dealing with in this basis period is a six month set of accounts. And the profits from the question were 30,000 pounds. Therefore, half of those profits, three sixths of those profits, will go in his income tax computation for 21-22. Now, if that's 21-22, then the next tax year, that's the first tax year, this is the second tax year. The question we ask ourselves, is there a set of accounts with a year end that falls in this tax year? Okay, 
The answer is, yes, there is. However, that set of accounts, which is the accounts to the 30th of June 2022, is short. It's not 12 months long. And remember, the rules are you would only be taxed once, but also then that you would be taxed on 12 months profits. But we only have six. So if you go down the flow chart, you will see that the rule is the first 12 months of profits. Now, that rule applied means that we are looking for profits in that period of time, the 1st of January 2022 to the 31st of December 2022 is the first 12 months of trade. Now, we're going to have to do this in two sections then because the first set of accounts, so that's the rule, is the 1st of January 22 to the 30th of June 22. Now, that was £30,000 worth of profits. Now, this, where do we get the second set from? Well, we start on the 1st of July 22 and we go through to the 31st of December 22. Now, those profits, those six months profits, comes from the set of accounts to June 23. So the accounts to June 23, we need six months of those 12 month profits. According to the question, the profits were £70,000. Now we need half of them, which is 35000 which means there are £65,000 worth of profits to be assessed in year two. Year three. Now we're not yet on a current year basis are we so year three is 23 24 we're not on a current year basis so we need to repeat the rules again so question one is there a set of accounts with a year end that falls in this tax year now if you look at your question you will see that in 2324 there is a set of accounts. The 30th of June 23 accounts fall in this tax year. Therefore, they will be assessed in this tax year. Second question, is that set of accounts 12 months long? The answer is yes, it is. So in this year, the rule is we're on a current year basis because we found a set of accounts that are 12 months long so it's the year to the 30th of June 23 so those accounts will be assessed no need to make any adjustments they will be assessed in that year and in year four which is 24 25 we're now on a current year basis, so it's the accounts to the 30th of June 24, which will be assessed to £82,000. So that's the first part of um, this example. The second part, overlap profits. Okay, so how is this going to work? Right. Now, one of the ways you can do, some people see it, can see it straight away when they look at this. They can see which bits have been taxed twice. Not all of you will be able to see it by looking at the numbers. Some of you need to maybe kind of draw it out. So what I'm going to do is going to draw it out and so you can see how it works because it's a visual thing. Now, in an exam, you probably wouldn't be able to do that and to present that, but you could do it in a working for yourself just so that you can kind of get what's going on so in year one which was 21 22 that's the bit we tax from the 1st of january 22 okay then in 22 23 
We did the first 12 months to the 31st of December, 22. And then in 23, 24, so that was year one, that was year two, that was year three. 23, 24, you can see there that we did the year to the 30th of June, 23. So the 30th of June, 23, which takes us back to the first of the third seventh twenty two now you can see quite clearly there there are periods of overlap that is a period of overlap and that is also a period of overlap now you can see that here there is a bit there there it is that's an overlap period because it's also in there. Now that's a three month overlap period. From the first of the first 22 to the fifth of the fourth 22, when we had 15,000 pounds worth of profits, which have been taxed twice. And then the second period of overlap is there. 1st of July 22 to the 31st of December. So that is July, August, September, October, November, December. Six months. So it's six months. And the profits were 35,000. So we have nine months overlap in total. And we have £50,000 worth of overlap profits. Now, there is a failsafe to make sure that you've got the correct amount of overlap. If you remember rightly, um, the 31st of March is classed as the same as the 5th of April. Now, when these rules were initially brought in, the revenue want every sole trader to have a 31st of March year end. Obviously, that wasn't going to happen. But this date here, how far is it from there to the end of the tax year? July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, nine months. How many months overlap do we have? Nine. You will always be able to work out whether you've got the correct amount of overlap by working out what the year end is and how far it is to the next 5th of April. Work that out and then make sure that you've got the correct amount of overlap. So let's do another example. Keep practicing this. Example number three. Chris started to trade on the 1st of May 2021. Now he made his first accounts up to the 31st of October 2022. And then the 31st of October annually thereafter. Now in that 18 month period. That's a long set of accounts. Get your rules out flow down the chart okay you made 36,000 pounds worth of profits in that 18 months to October 22 and then 30,000 profits in the following year so it says compute or work out the assessment for the relevant tax years so far as the information will allow and work out or compute the amount of overlap profits that arise so let's have a go at this now again, remember to set this up as the model answer looks. So the year, the basis of assessment, which is where all your rules go, and you must set out the rule and then your workings, and then your answer at the end. Okay, so he started to trade now the rule, don't forget, actual, let's put that in first. That's the rule. 
Show the examiner. I wrote the rule. It's an actual basis. And he started to trade on the 1st of May 21. Now, actual means from that date to the next 5th of April, which means that now you know what the tax year is. Now, you notice that I don't work the tax year out. That I always start with the basis of assessment. Because if you know what the rule is, it's an actual basis. And you know what the start date is because it's in the question. If you, you then go through to the next 5th of April, that will tell you what tax year is so that this date is always correct. Because if you get that date wrong, the following year is wrong and the following year is wrong. And then you're going to get everything so modelled that you won't be able to cope with it. OK, so start with the rule. Start with the commencement date from the question and then go to the next 5th of April and work out from there what is the tax year. So the first year of trade. So we are looking at a set of accounts. So how long is that period? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. 11 months. So we're looking at 11 eighteenths of the profits of 36,000 that he made in that 18 month period, which is 22,000. Year two is 22, 23, and we're confident in that now because we got the date right. Year two is there a set of accounts with a year end that falls in that tax year. Yes, there is. It's the set of accounts to October 22. But that set of accounts is long. It's 18 months. Therefore, the rule is, don't forget, we have to have 12 months to the year end. And that is 12 months. So that's the year end is the 31st of October 22, which means that would start on the 1st of November 21. And we're looking for 12 months profits out of those accounts to be assessed. Slow, logical, thoughtful. Year 3, 23, 24. We are not yet on a current year basis. So we need to ask that question again and repeat. Is there a set of accounts with a year end in this tax year between the 6th of April 23 and the 5th of April 24? The answer is yes. It's the year 2, the 31st of October 23 we are now on a current year basis and those profits are taxed oh, 30 those profits are going to be taxed there okay overlap What period overlaps? What do you reckon? Okay, now there is some because that 18 month set of accounts has been taxed twice. Okay, it's been taxed twice. Now, how far is the end of October from the next 5th of April? November, December, January, February. March. So we are looking for five months overlap. And that five months would be from the 1st of November 21 to the 5th of April 22, which is 5 eighteenths times 36,000, which is 10 thousand 
you're not sure with that, then draw it out. Confirm to yourself that you're happy with that. Okay, let's have a look then at example number four. Lost it for a minute there. <laughs> Example number four. John commenced trading on the 1st of December 21 and he prepared accounts to the 31st of May 23, in which period he made adjusted trading profits of £54,000. How long is that set of accounts? Okay, now the question doesn't give you any hint, so you've got to work that out for yourself. I'll give you a hint, it's 18 months. From the 1st of December 21 to the 31st of May 23. It is an 18 month period of time. Um, then in the following year, which is the year ended May 24, he made profits of 48,000. So question asks, compute the assessment for the relevant tax years of assessment from the information provided and calculate the amount of overlap profit arising and state what will happen. Can you remember what happens with that? Shall we do that now? You get relief when you move, in one situation, when you move your year end closer to the 31st of March. Or two, when you cease to trade. Now you could see that coming up as a multiple choice question in section A, can't you? All right, let's do example number four. Okay, let's set it up here. Basis of assessment. Workings. answer okay so when did he start to trade first of December 2021 so that's 1 12 21 okay that would probably make it easier to do we then move that forward to the 5th of April 22 so this is a 21 22 tax year how long is that period december january february march it's four months out of 18 months set of accounts profits were the 54000 when we work that out there is 12000 profits assessed in that tax year now that 12000 then goes into the income tax computation for the year 21-22. Year 2, 22-23. Is there, a, the rules, is there a set of accounts with a year end that falls in that tax year? Now if you look at the question, it tells us that that isn't the case. And I'm just going to move the page down so that you can I can show you what I mean by that. So in 21-22, we started to trade on the 1st of December 21 and we went to the 5th of April. So the second tax year, 22-23, so that's the first tax year, that's the second tax year. We haven't got a year end because the year end falls, the first year end, year end question said was the 31st of May 23 there's the year end it's not in the middle so if you then look at your rules the question we ask ourselves is there a year end that falls in this tax year the answer is no there isn't therefore the rule is an actual basis So let's take that back up to here. So the rule continues. 
This was an actual basis. What actually happened? This is an actual basis. 2. 6th of April, the next day, to the 5th of April, 22. So 12 eighteenths of that, 12 months of that set of accounts profits needs to be assessed. And that 36,000 will go into the income tax computation for 22-23 under non-savings income. Okay, year 3, 23, 24. Ooh, we are not yet on a current year basis, are we? So we need to repeat those rules. Is there a set of accounts that falls in this tax year? Yes, there is. 31st of May 23. However, that set of accounts is 18 months long. Rule says we can only be taxed on 12 months. So, we need to go back here to the 1st of June 22. It's a long set of accounts. It's the 12 months to the 31st of May. So, the rule is 12 months to the year end. So that'll be the 1st of June. I keep writing that down. Let's put the date in because that makes it follow the same process all the way through. 22 to 31st of May 23. So again, 12 eighteenths. These profits have now been taxed three times. Obviously, you'll get relief on um, basis period um, overlap profits. Get those in a minute. But we're still not on a basis. We're in it, still not on a current year basis. So twenty four twenty five, which is year four. Okay, let's write that in there. Twenty four twenty five. Are we on a current year basis now? Well, we should be. It's the thirty first of May 24. Yay, we're on a current year basis now. So we're on a current year basis in year 4, the year 2, 31st of May 24. So those profits of question said 48,000. That's what's assessed there. Now we've got some overlap this period here is the overlap how long is it june july august september october november december january february march it's 10 months overlap period is 10 months from the 1st of june 22 to the 5th of April 23 show everything and the profits would be 10 18 54,000 again show everything so those three examples you may need what wrong one you may need to go through those again just to check and practice them